I used to live in Liverpool and would often travel down to London by train to visit my kid brother in Tooting. He knew where all the best bands were playing. By best, I mean the loudest. The journey was straightforward, Liverpool, Lime Street to Euston, and a great opportunity to read or just gawp out of the window to see the trackside views of small towns, villages and people's back gardens. One day I noticed a group of cow statues in a field. They were painted black and white and looked roughly made. A family of cows? It made me smile. What sort of place was this? Fake cows? Was this a joke? What a place to live. But on the return journey, I watched out for the cows. They had not moved. On subsequent journeys, the cows came to represent the halfway point of my journey. Ten years later, I came to Milton Keynes for a job interview at Milton Keynes Central Library and got the job. And I realised that I had become an economic migrant in the land of the concrete cow. Here pretty much everything was new, and there was an exhilaration in doing things in new ways. Ways that were closer to people. Ways that were exciting and different and fun. In my first week, a man introduced himself to me. I'm Bill Billings, the official herdsman to the concrete cows, he said. I looked around. Someone was setting me up, surely. But no, it was true. Bill was an artist, and one of his jobs was precisely that. Check the cows once a week and do whatever repairs and repainting was required. He explained that the original concrete cows were indeed concrete, but they had rotted on their iron armatures and were being gradually replaced with plaster. They were, of course, still the concrete cows. Today they are only visible from the train in winter, as the saplings planted in the glade all those years ago are now much taller. The concrete cows no longer tell me that my journey is half over. They tell me that I have arrived, that I am home. <laughs>